or second clean sheet in the league. Joe, you must be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, I was pleased with the clean sheet, especially away from home, I think. Um, not really much in the game. Um, they're a decent side. I think they'll be there or thereabouts. But um, yeah, I think we, we probably shaded it apart from maybe the save at the end. But um, a point away from home is always, is always pretty good. Had some good spells in the game and certainly got a lot of crosses in the box uh, today, you know, so yeah, that, that's good away from home, you know, you've been very, very positive in your approach. Yeah, it's a big pitch here, isn't it, you know, so we worked it well, got lads into decent pockets and then got it wide, especially on our right-hand side through Josh, but um, put some great balls in, uh, just hung it up in there, but uh, we couldn't get anything on it, you know, so maybe another day, but it's good that we created, you know, although their keeper didn't probably have a save to make. Um, it was encouraging, you know, we played some nice football when we did and then we went direct, so it was good to mix it up. Um, you know, felt pretty comfortable defensively. We obviously were, at, uh, we had three at the back today. The lads were brilliant in front of me again. So, um, as the gaffer says, listen, you take a point and, you know, you look forward to the next one. So, uh, a couple of clean sheets is good. Um, we look threatening, which is obviously a positive as well. Nat making his debut for Tranmere today, of course. He's he's been sick, but uh, I mean, you can see what a great operator he is. Yeah, listen, he, he he's been ill for a week, you know, and straight back in, trained once or twice, and then and then playing, you know. So it's it's obviously taken a lot out of him. There's a few we had a few COVID cases, obviously as well, over the last couple of weeks. So there's stuff going around, but yeah, apparently you hit him quite hard. Um, but you know, he's got plenty of experience. You know, you look at Clarkie there as well. So um, the boys were excellent. Um, you know, anything that came into the box, we dealt with. And, um, you know, we played a nice bit of ball out. When you have three, you know, I like to try and get us playing. You know, and Clarkie was stood next to me a few times. So, but it's good because we've got the players to to play into them little areas that will protect it. And then, you know, we're out then and attacking. So uh, it was pleasing. And of course, the defence protecting you pretty well. But, you know, you're sort of underselling the, that save at the end of the game, mm -hmm. which is really important. Yeah, listen, it's, it's my job, you know. It's, it's obviously delighted with it. And, just at the time, I suppose, that it was. Um, but yeah, happy. I, I think he actually caught it probably too well, the lad. If he, maybe if he scuffed it a little bit, it would have crept into the corner. Just happy that it hit me and then rolled back out and hit my legs and stayed with me. But Tom, I think, was, was ready to clear up. But um, yeah, listen, I'm, I'm happy if the ball never goes near me, you know. So, um, you know, two clean sheets is satisfying. You know, okay, a few more goals would have been nice, but as I said, a, a, a point away from home is definitely, you know, a good start. And obviously, you know, Scotty's long-term injury. Young, young Ross has come in on loan for, from Celtic as well. You know, you're very much the senior. You're in charge. You're in the goal at the moment. Enjoying that? Absolutely. Listen, it's you know, I feel great. You know, and you know, we we need we needed another goalkeeper. It was that's a fact. You know, so um, we've got young Ben come in, but we need we needed obviously someone else and. Thankfully, you know, I felt good through pre-season, to be honest, and, and felt like I put in some decent performances and I got the nod. But that means nothing. Listen, you're only as good as your last game. I know it's one of them sayings that everyone thinks of and says, but uh, listen, I'm just happy to, to be on that pitch and uh, it doesn't really matter what age I am or whatever. I feel good and as long as I feel I can, co I can contribute, I want to play. I came to this club to play, you know, and, and I've done that all through my career. I'm not happy to sit on the bench and... I'm sure Ross will fight me all the way and I'll fight him all the way and the standard that he's set in training has, has been unbelievable. You can see the talent that he has and, and we'll, we'll have a good battle this year. You know all about the fans at Tramir, of course, mm. and it, it, as if somebody just let them out of the house for the first time, <laughs> isn't it really? I mean, amazing support again today. Yeah, listen, I think Scotty always says it to me, you, you have to be a special player to play for this club because you need to be, to be able to handle the, not the pressure, but you know, wearing this crest on your shirt is, it's a big thing and I, and I seen that when I was here as a kid, you know, when I was coming up through the ranks and then obviously made it into the first team at a young age, it's, it's, a, it's a big pressure, you know, it's not a League Two team, it's, you know, it's a big, big club and they demand and you have to, you have to do everything you can on the pitch and if you do that, they'll respect you and give you everything. So, for me it was great the other day, um, last Saturday against Walsh, so it was amazing, it just felt really strange, but it was for them that game, you know, and it's getting people back into routines and talking about football and having that point before the game and the journey back home now. So, you know, we're, we're, we're playing for them, you know, and it's it's hopefully we can we can make it a good year for them. Another way trip before you get to play in front of them again uh, at Swindon on Tuesday mm -hmm. night. Uh, they've had a little bit of an upheaval pre-season, but you'll go there expecting a really tough game, I'm sure. Yeah, strange because me, me, me good pal of mine went in as assistant manager 
um, and then you know two three weeks later he was gone so uh, strange but listen it's 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 happening quite a lot in lower league football you see but again it's early days people trying to find their feet still working on fitness you know it's tough out there today big pitch um, you know lads are still you know looking for their match fitness really and um, it takes a few games to get that but uh, it'll be another tough one long uh, long journey hopefully you know get this out of our legs over the next couple of days and we'll uh, we'll go again and hopefully get the win